It was a glorious victory, wasn't it? I don't know. I don't want to be anybody's prisoner. I want to be a queen. And so you shall. As soon as you have crossed the next brook, and I shall take you to the end of the wood. But then I must come back. That is the end of my move. You need help. What? What? Oh, 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 your helmet. Okay, I've, I've got it, I've got it. Okay, come on. <laughs> I notice you are admiring my little box. It has to keep clothes and sandwiches in. I keep it upside down so the rain can't get in. It's an invention of my own, you may try it if you like. If you keep it upside down, everything can fall out. Everything has fallen out and the box is no good without them. Can you guess why I did that? In hopes some bees may come by and make an estimate and I can get the honey. It's not very likely there'll be any bees around here. Not very likely, perhaps, but if they do come around, I don't intend on having them flying all about. It's best to be prepared for everything. That's why my horse has its anklets around its feet. What are they for? To guard against the bites of sharks. <laughs> <laughs> I'd better go. Help me on my horse and I shall be on my way. Help me on my horse. Uh, no. Help me on my horse! It's over here. <laughs> Your hair well fastened on. In the usual fashion. <laughs> that is not nearly enough. The wind <coughs> around here is as strong as soup. But I have a plan for keeping it from falling off. Would you like to hear it? First, you take an upright stick, and then you make your hair creep up it like a fruit tree. Now, the only problem with hair is that it likes to fall downward, you know? Nothing ever likes to fall upward. You see what I mean? It's an invention of my own. You may try it if you like. It's not very comfortable. Do you know what the great art of driving is? It's just to keep your balance. Like this. Giddy up. Come on. Ooh. <laughs> Are you hurt? Is it broken? Here, lean on me. Nothing to speak of. <laughs> As I was saying, the great art of riding is just to keep our balance. Like this! This is ridiculous. Maybe you ought to get yourself a little wind horse. You know, the kind with the wheels. Does that kind go more smoothly? It's better than a live one. I'll have to get myself one. Or two. I'll get several. Why not? Why not? Because I'm a great hand at inventing things. I dare say, last time you were helping me up, you noticed I was looking rather thoughtful. You were grave. That's because I was thinking of a new way of getting over a gate. Would you like to hear it? No. I said I didn't want to hear it. I'm not listening! And I'll tell you how I came to think of it. You see, I said to myself, the only problem is with the feet. The head is high enough already, if you know what I mean. Here, help. Now, <laughs> I put my head on top of the gate, like this, you see? Then I stand on my head, and then I am over the gate, like this. <laughs> well, you'd be over once you did that, but I think it's going to be a little hard to do. I don't know. I haven't tried on a real gate, so I can't say for certain. Yet. No, I think it's impossible. It is not impossible. <sighs> Yes, but I've invented a better one than that. It was shaped like a sugar loaf. So whenever I fall off my horse, I hit the ground right away and I don't have very far to fall. Like this. But there was a danger of falling into it, to be sure. And you first. And I did that once. And the way it was part of it was, another white knight came along and he put it on because he thought it was his own helmet. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, you must have 
to hurt him very much. I had to kick him, of course. Then he got out of it. But it took hours to get me out. I was stuck as fast as... as lightning! Do you know what I mean? No, that's a different kind of fastness. It was all kinds of fastness with me, I assure you. But it was very foolish of him to put another man's helmet on. And with the man in it, too. Please, how can you go on talking like that? What difference does it make whether I go on talking? My mind! My mind keeps on inventing new things. I dare say the cleverest thing of the sort that I ever invented was a new kind of pudding during the meat course. You say, in time for the next course? No, please. I know. Say it. Say it! In time for the next course! Of course not! <laughs> in time for the next course! Of course not! Then it must have been the next day. You wouldn't want two pudding courses in one dinner. Not the next day. No, not the next day. I don't think that pudding was ever cooked. And I don't think that pudding ever will be cooked. And yet, it was a very clever pudding to invent. What did you mean it to be made out of? Blotting paper. No, oh, that doesn't sound very nice. Not very nice by itself, perhaps. But you have no idea what it's like once you mix it with other things, like gunpowder and sealing wax. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 no, no more, please. I'd better go, but I notice you're looking a little sad. Let me sing you a little song to comfort you, and then I'll be on my way. Is it long? Yes, it's long, but it's very beautiful. Every time somebody hears me sing it, it either brings a cheer to the riders, or else... Uh, or else what? Or else it doesn't, and you know. Now, the name of the song is called Haddock's Eyes. Oh, that's the name of the song, is it? No, you don't understand. That's what the name is called. The name really is an aged, aged man. So I should have said that's what the song is called. <coughs> no, you shouldn't. That is quite another thing. The name of the song is called Ways and Means. But that's only what the name of the song is. What is the song? I was just getting to that. The name of the song is A Sitting on a Gate. And it's of my own invention. <clears throat> ah, ah, I'll tell you everything I know. There is little to an age. I saw an aged, aged man sitting on a gate. Who are you, aged man, I said, and how is it you live? And his answer trickled through my head like water through a sieve. He said, I hunt for butterflies to sleep among the weeds. I make them into mud pies and sell them in the street. And so having no reply to what the young man said, I cried, come tell me how you live. And I thumped him on his head. <laughs> He said, I sometimes hunt for haddock's eyes among the heather bright. I make them into waistcoat buttons in the silent night. I sometimes dig for buttered roses. <laughs> dig for buttered roses. Bend in the in the road. 
I feel that you will encourage me. You know what I mean? Did you like the song? I hope so. You didn't cry nearly as much as I thought you would. That's the best song I know. I don't know any better. That's the best song in my repertoire. I, I liked the song. I liked 